So the problem that we have is we have a couple YouTube videos that we want to put together for our students to see, but if we just send them off to YouTube, they'll be gone forever. So here's one way to take care of that, is to use a YouTube custom player. So I have uh, some videos here that, and that I want to share with my class. So the first one, it says a share here. Nope, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Add To, and I'm going to put it in a playlist. So I'll select a new playlist here and, and call it uh, Math Rocks. All right, so that's my playlist, and I just save this one to the playlist. So that's the first math video I have. Here's a second math video. I'll go ahead and add that to Math Rocks. And then here's a third one, a great by heart video. It's wonderful. So I'll add that to uh, Math Rocks. And so now I have a playlist that has three. Now in the next tab, you'll see what I have here is I have um, um, up in the top it says youtube.com slash custom player. So if you type this into your web address bar, you'll get this place this page here where I get to make a custom player. I've already filled in the name for the player, Math Rocks, and the description, my favorite math videos. I can pick a different color theme if I want. Gray is fine. I can pick out whichever layout I want. This layout's fine. And in the content, let me go ahead and refresh my page here. You'll see the playlist that I just made is here, Math Rocks. So I'm going to select that as the content for my custom player. Then I could just get to come down here and say, go ahead and generate the code for this custom player. If I scroll down to the bottom, here is the code for it. So I'll just go ahead and hit um, select all that and copy it. And then it says finish. Click save player. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this player to make sure that it's saved. Now I'm going to go back um, to maybe you have a blog. Maybe you ha are using a learning management system. Here this is in Moodle. So I'm going to come here because I want to place this into Moodle. I'm going to go ahead and toggle so I can see the HTML code, paste in the code, and then I go ahead and save changes. When I come back to my Moodle site now, you see here it is. Here is my custom player. It has the Y Math video, which I can play if I want. It has a little arrow here where I can see uh, the next uh, one, the Y Calculus. I can hit the arrow and see the next one, which is the uh, Vi Heart video. Uh, it has a nice little thing where it shows me the three videos along the bottom. And so that's a great way to make some videos available uh, to your students.